Daniel 1 verses 17 to 21. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. Here we see that God had blessed the four children as they had stood up for the Lord by not compromising to Babylonian customs. And Daniel was specifically blessed with the ability to interpret visions and dreams. We can recall in the Bible where the dreams that were interpreted had prophetic and real-world consequences. Take the example of the account of Joseph as found in Genesis 41, where the king of Egypt had his dream interpreted by the then Hebrew prisoner. In the dream, seven fattened and healthy cows were eaten by seven sickly cows, and then followed seven tall ears of corn being devoured by seven sickly ears of corn. What was to follow was from God, as both the dreams told that there would be seven years of plenty in the land, and immediately following would be seven years of famine. Pharaoh then permitted Joseph as second in command over all Egypt next only to himself. When we read Daniel, take into consideration what happened in Genesis because we're going to see similar prophecies.